What's good fam, it's Lone Wolf here, and welcome to Build Your Loadout, a video series designed to guide you in building your own loadout, from your rig to your headgear. This is episode four, Uniform and Final Thoughts. Uniforms are very important. Matching the right uniform and camouflage pattern to your gear can significantly increase how effective you are as a player. How do you choose your uniform? Well, your role definitely plays a big part. We've been discussing riflemen throughout this series. Well, let's, we'll talk about riflemen, but let's talk about some roles that require you to stay hidden, to disguise yourself, like a sniper. So snipers usually wear ghillie suits, which help them blend into their environment. Wearing a uniform is very similar. So choosing a uniform pattern depends on your environment. So. If you own a bunch of different types of uniforms, then you can select what you're going to wear for an event based on your environment. So if you're gonna go play in Texas at a field that is more um, dirt and a brown environment, wearing like coyote brown or DCUs might be more effective for you to hide. If you're in more of a forest setting, like let's say you're in you're in South Carolina, in an area that is more green, lots of forest, wearing either multicam or ranger green can help you. If you're going to wear a uniform to help you blend in with the environment, your gear must do the same thing. So you can't wear a black plate carrier over coyote brown pants and shirt and expect to blend in in dirt because you're not going to. You have to make sure, like we've talked about before, your gear complements your uniform. With that in mind, it's not essential for you to choose a uniform based on your environment. For players that really want to do that, they own several sets of different kinds of camo. For me, I stick to a couple different colors currently. Multicam is my main, main color. Whenever I play tan, I wear multicam. Whenever I play green, I wear ranger green. And then I wear multicam when I play speed QB or speed soft. When it comes to choosing your pattern, if you don't want to buy several sets and base it off your environment, or you just want to buy one set, if you're going to play it at an open play field regularly, choose a camo and, and gear color that works in that environment. Um, because it's not going to be a tan versus green gameplay. It's going to be armbands versus no armbands or something like that. Otherwise, if you're just getting into milsim and you could be playing, you're not sure what side you're going to play on, you have friends on both sides, I would suggest get choosing a neutral rig color and getting a set of um, like multicam and a set of like ranger green one set for each side. That way, for one event, you have friends on green, you decide to run green and play with them, or you have friends on tan at a different event and you can wear that multicam and play with them. And that neutral rig color works for both sides. For me, I, my rig is all multicam. So I can wear that with this, and actually I can wear that with this, and it still works. Purchasing uniform can get expensive. 
So I usually recommend, like, my favorite has become TMC. Um, that's where I bought these multicam black pants. I really like their stuff. It's not super cheap, but it's not very expensive either. Um, it's, a, it's a good affordable price for good quality um, uniform. Instead of paying for Cry's or LBX, which can get pretty expensive. And without, you know, spending a little tiny bit on them. Now you can go to a military surplus store and get good, a good set of uniform for cheap. I'm not saying don't do that, there's nothing wrong with that. I just prefer a little bit higher quality and not used. That's just me, it's personal preference. And of course, for events, your pants, shirt, and headgear must match your, your team side at least, your faction. So if you're running tan, make sure all three of those are camos from the tan side. Uniform, I'd say, is all about concealment. probably say that's probably what I would say it's based on is concealment so now that we've talked about uniform let's kind of get into my final thoughts to close out this series we talked about your rig your rig is based on necessity and reliability most of your weight and most of your stuff I believe should be on your rig remember to keep things that you need that need to be accessible while you're engaging a target. Um, make sure that if they need to be accessible by your left hand, make sure to keep them where your left hand can get to them easily without your light rifle being lowered. As far as your belt goes, your belt should be based on speed and ease. So make sure if you can get to, if you need to get to anything on your belt with your left hand, make sure it's easy to get to and quick. Um, make sure it's comfortable feels good. Same with plate carry. Plate carry should be balanced and it should sit properly and tightly on you. Um, on your belt, you know, where your pistol is located, whether you're right or left-handed, should be easy to draw. Um, and, you know, you can work on those transitions by dropping your rifle and pulling your pistol out. Um, make sure your belt complements your rig. What you're missing on your belt, on your rig, should be on your belt. Third, we talked about your headgear, which is based on comfort and protection. So it should complement your rig and your belt, but it's not necessarily what you're missing. It's what you want to wear on your head to protect you. Um, eye protection is very important. You know, always have good eye protection on. And that should be like the first thing that you, you get. And then your headgear should be based on necessity. So keeping those things in mind when you're building your loadout, all of these things will increase your effectiveness as a player. Um, remember to wear things that are comfortable. My rule of thumb is if it doesn't increase my overall effectiveness as a player, then I don't wear it. Everything that I wear has a purpose. If it doesn't have a purpose, it's not on my gear. Simple as that. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Um, please give me some feedback in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you have any further questions or you want a follow-up video, please leave a comment down below. Um, feel free to reach out to me um, by my email address, which is in the description, uh, or message me through Instagram. Instagram is the best way to get a hold of me. Um, definitely, definitely just message me through Instagram. Um, and the link to that is in the description as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment down below. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell right next to it to get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.